All right, let's jump over and talk about the Indianapolis Colts and the Detroit Lions. Interesting game here. Ly uh, Lions coming off of a win, actually a couple of wins now, uh, and then the Colts coming off of a bye week after um, they had their best offensive performance on the year against the Bengals. Seems like everyone has a good offensive performance against the Bengals. Should be a pretty interesting game here. 50 point over under. That's a lot higher than I was expecting this one to be. I figured Vegas would say that this is going to be a lower scoring game. And I feel like that's kind of a trap over under. I could be wrong. But when we look at, you know, with the exception of the game against the Bengals, the Colts have historically hit the under. And then the Lions in the last two weeks, we were expecting them to, you know, be a lot more prolific through the air. Obviously, they had a good running game against the Jaguars two weeks ago. Last week against the Falcons, lower scoring game than what we anticipated. So I think this will be a pretty low scoring game personally. Uh, we have the Colts coming here with the best defense against quarterbacks and tight ends, one of the better defenses against running backs, and above average against receivers. Lions defense, not as good, obviously allowing the fifth most points to running backs, seventh most points to receivers, been good at slowing down tight ends. I, as I mentioned, my rankings are pretty much anticipating this game to hit the under pretty, pretty clearly here. I have pretty much only confident uh, start here on the Colts side of the ball is Jonathan Taylor. Now, I know Jonathan Taylor, obviously, up to this point, he hasn't really been bad. He just hasn't given you that boom upside week that you would expect from a guy of his athletic profile, someone with his draft capital coming in, getting the kind of work that you were hoping that he would get. You would expect by this point he would have you know, multiple 20-plus point fantasy days. Hasn't happened yet. If it's going to happen, it's going to be this week against the Lions, who have been historically very bad against running backs through the year. So Jonathan Taylor, I have complete confidence in starting. Naeem Hines is a flex option for me this week. Not someone I'm very excited about starting because outside of week one, he hasn't really looked good. Uh, they have used him a little bit in the passing game, but nowhere near what we were expecting. This could be a game that they end up using him a little bit more. Now, we mentioned the Lions are very good at slowing down tight ends. I think that Trey Burton is a good stash option, and if you have to play him, he's not the worst start this week because the Colts do funnel a lot of their passing, especially in the red zone, to uh, the tight ends there. And with Jack Doyle and Mo Ali cox still dealing with injuries, I think Trey Burton could end up having a nice day. I just don't have him ranked in the top 12, which is why he's in my second guest category, but I have, I have some confidence there. Where I don't have any confidence is in the receivers. Last we saw, Marcus Johnson was the leading receiver for this team. We've seen Zach Pascal have a good... Uh, day where he led this team in receiving yards. This has been a low volume pass offense with a, a pretty much dust Phillip Rivers up to this point with the exception of when they play the Bengals. I don't really know who is going to end up being the main beneficiary this week. If I had to you know, flip a coin, I'd say maybe it would be Marcus Johnson again because I think he has the most, most athleticism and juice left at this point of his career. T.Y. Hilton looks like he's dust, but maybe the, the bye week they'll get something together. I don't like any of these options here. Try to avoid all the pass catchers in Indianapolis if you can. But of course, the Colts defense will remain a weekly start uh, as long as they continue to be one of the more dominant fantasy defenses. All right, on the Lions side, DeAndre Swift has emerged as uh, the, at the, at least at this point, the most usable fantasy back of, of rookies. And, uh, maybe Clyde edwards helaire still has that title, but DeAndre Swift has had multiple good starts in a row. Yes, they're still using Adrian Peterson, but Swift has started to be used more in the goal line. He's been used in uh, more high leverage situations in the passing game, and he's looked really good. Up to this point, uh, you know, DeAndre Swift has really only had like one bad fantasy day where he scored less than 10 points in PPR. I don't know why people are complaining about DeAndre Swift. He's given you everything you could have wanted considering you pay like a sixth round price tag for him. So I'm going to continue firing up DeAndre Swift until he until he busts for us, and I think this could be another good week for him. Kenny Galladay, you're starting every single week regardless of matchup, and I know the Colts have been good against tight ends, but they haven't faced anyone like TJ Hawkinson up to this point. If you have TJ Hawkinson, I'm going to throw him back into my starting lineup. Now, Matthew Stafford has been a disappointment in the last two weeks against bad defenses, I'm not going to play him against the Colts here as they've been one of the better defenses against quarterbacks, actually the best to be uh, in fact. So Matthew Stafford is on my shy away list this week. Adrian Peterson, as long as DeAndre Swift is continuing to be involved in the red zone, doesn't have nearly enough upside for me to start. 
The Lions defense is an interesting one. If Philip Rivers has a, a you know fumbling or an interception prone day, could end up being a good start. So I'm not opposed to starting them. I just think there's probably some better options for you there. And I'm not playing Marvin Jones or Danny Amendola in this one. Marvin Jones had an okay game against the Falcons last week, but this is not a matchup. You wouldn't be going back to that well here. So I actually have the Lions winning this one. I've got them winning 24 to 20. And I feel like this is, in my opinion, the highest I would imagine this uh, score going. I could see this being like a 17-14 game as well. But I think the Lions can pull this one out and beat the Colts. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. But yeah, I got the Lions winning this one. Mm-hmm.